This is the headquarters of Netflix in California, right next to the railroad tracks. And I think this was the original one. Interesting building. Anyway, today I want to talk about Netflix. It has been hit hard. And I want to discover to see if the, the slide has over. I have a signal from my Omni Broker program that I wrote. It's signal on my strategy, which is basically a RSI, MACD strategy. A lot of people use it. Anyway, I received a single to go long on Netflix. So I need to investigate a little further. Before I do, I want to remind you that the Stock Planner channel, we're swing traders and trying to pick the tops and bottoms, which is a hard thing to do, and then take the meat in the middle and ride that trend in the middle. We're not advisors, so you must do your own due diligence, learn it, and if you learn it, you can win for life. With that said, let's get started on Netflix. Netflix to buy. Looking at Netflix on the weekly, each bar is a weekly. We try to pick the tops and bottoms. And if we can, this is zigzag indicator. It does it perfectly. If we can, we can get some serious money on it. The reason why the zigzag is perfect is it looks to the future. And right now, the zigzag for the weekly does not know what it's doing. My strategy is when the MACD is below the zero, and I like when it has a crossover, the stochastic RSI is below the 20 and come back around for long now. And it's the opposite. It's 80 and come the other way. And the RSI come back over to 30. And when they all occur within a few bars of each other, that's a sign to go long. Now, that fails too because you have it that goes short here. And that was only a little short. So it's not perfect. And this is a new indicator that I'm testing out. It's a zero lag as well, but it's, I'm hoping it'll keep me in the trade longer. Right now it's showing green, and the stochastic RSI is coming down and pointing down. The MAC is pointing down, and so as the RSI. And yes, and we got a, a downward movement over the next last two weeks. But my signal run is run on a daily. Let's check that out. Switching to the daily, the last two or three, well, the last two weeks, and it showed us a small down. And now we don't, we might, might be going up. Right now, right from here on, the zigzag didn't know what it was doing. And there was some indication that it would be a down, a down trend. Everything's pointing down. But I got these two green candles the last two days. And my system, my algorithm, must have thought it was coming around. And the way I have it programmed, if the MACD is below the zero, which it is, you could take us along if the other two happen. So, got a signal to go long there, and we're going to check it out. What do you think? Is it long or is it still going to continuation short? What do you think? This is Finviz. It's free. Get some ads, some pop-ups. But it does paint the lines in. And there you go. You have the little... And uh, you can see whatever you want. By the way, I, I can see a little upward trend here. and Bounce off the, that trend line. Little smiley faces here. Yeah. Don't you see it? You can make... People can see whatever they want. And all they are is just lines. Target price of 667 according to Finviz. And that is up in here somewhere. This is a profitable company. And I am very positive for the long term. It's optional and shortable. That's a requirement I have. And it's got a buy rating. And, of course, the average volume is plenty enough to sustain the getting it in and out. Nothing recent on the upgrade downgrades. Currently, Netflix is trading at 655 or 56, going to 679. 34 analysts following it because it's very popular. Lots of people trade options on this. And I think I might trade options on it today too because it's an expensive stock. And options sometimes brings down that cost. Because if you have a small account of $5,000 and $5,000 
of margin. That's 10 grand. You don't want to spend more than about 10 percent per investment. So that means that that a thousand dollar, but to let you buy two shares essentially, rounding. And this has only got a ranking of seven. I thought it'd be higher. The hedge fund activity decreased and insider activity selling shares. That's not a good sign. Investors have been negative. The technicals have been positive. And fundamentals are positive. This is a good company. It's been on the move up. Maybe it's a slight pullback. Earnings date is January 17th. And I'm thinking about selling options to January 21st. Generally, you want the financials to be going in an upward trend. And these aren't going up. You want it to look like this. But the PE is profitable. And this article here is there's going to be a lot of competition. Can Netflix keep growing like it was in the past? Market cap is large. Reiterating 656 for a price. Forward profitability. Past and forward is very good. Target price is 667. It's in FinViz. And it's 666. 679 which is very close for tip ranks both got buy ratings the expected value is expected to grow about five bucks between now and january 21st with only two shares that only gives you seven or eight bucks if you bought the stock i think it's going to go much more but we'd have to look at some options here option spread to see what we got but if we take a small same Small account of five thousand dollars with with a one thousand dollar risk and a profit target of twelve. I shoot for twenty and a stop loss of eight percent. This is what you expect to win. You want to win win more, you lose, and you have a bigger chance to, to win if you take your profit earlier. But then sometimes your losers get away from you. So five dollars from where it's at puts it about there. Let's take a look and see what we can do at about five sixty. No, six, six, sixty. Six, sixty. Going through a free tool called Option Strat. It's a simulator, option simulator. Doing a bull put spread. We're going to go long. And we want to go out to January 20, January of 22, which is January 21st. We want to invest $500. In other words, that's what we have to put up for margin. And our profit and our loss are about the same, about 250 putting our stop loss at about eight or nine with the stop loss about five or six hundred dollars or five five ninety stop loss and a profit target something north of that this is your break even of 652 and if it stay above that by the end of the of january you get 255 this you get the whole credit of course you could if it pegs and goes up early that you could take your profit from here and beyond. And if you like to be your stop loss a little sooner, this is your playing field. Try to keep everything above that, and you want to be out of the trade by that time. So how does this look to you? A one-for-one one risk reward, and you can play the game for two months, 73 days, for a $500 risk or investment. Now, you're not really using that margin. You don't use it margin until your 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 trade gets executed. Good. What happens is when you place this trade and sell sell a, this credit spread, this money goes into your account. It's an accounting thing, but you're not using your margin until it gets down in the red zone and, and you close it out and you lose. You might have to use the margin that then if you don't have enough money in your account. This is how I'm going to play it. It's a lot. I can play it with a greater profit if you buy the stock and can go to buy two shares and go to 12% profit. This is what you'll get, 120. If it only achieves what I'm saying here, five dollar. That's what you get. Or an option around 250 if it stays above your break even, 652. Is right about there. It stays above that to January and beyond. And the indicators may be saying that it's going to go up. You get $250. That's the trade. Netflix, not a strong single from my Omni Broker routine.
but it's still buy single. What do you think? Are you in for the long term? Or are you going to pass on this trade? Please leave your comments below. Do your own due diligence. Like what you're doing. Have some fun. Don't take yourself too seriously. This is a nice, I guess it's a game. This is a nice game. Uh, and if you're smart enough, you can increase your investment. I think swing trading is, is more 70% technical and 30% fundamental. Anyways, happy trading. Catch you on the flip.